Oh, hey there. Welcome to another episode of The Average Joe's One Acre Homestead. Today, we're hunting vermin, so if you want to follow along, you're going to have to be quiet. All right, welcome back. So as I said today, we're going to be hunting for a critter. And uh, the critter in particular that we're hunting for today just so happens to be a weasel. <laughs> so I noticed about a week or so ago uh, that I had a little visitor inside of my garage here, uh, a little white weasel. Uh, you know, weasel, 50-50 animal, 50% good, 50% bad uh, on the good end. If you have it around, chances are he is ridding your yard of rodents like mice, moles, rats, stuff like that. They are prolific hunters of those things. Uh, on the bad side, if you have chickens like I do, you probably don't want a weasel hanging around your yard because they are notorious for killing chickens. Uh, they won't even eat them. They'll just attack them, kill them, suck the blood out of them, and uh, you'll go in one morning and enter your coop into a bloodbath that the weasel left behind for you. So definitely not an animal that I want hanging around my yard. Um, so basically I did like every other average Joe would do. I hopped on Amazon and I uh, found myself one of these. Picked up this nice little live trap here. Nice. Uh, so about $25 off Amazon, not too big of a setback. Uh, nice little metal cage. So what we're going to do in this episode is, uh, we're going to show you a little bit of the cage. We're going to bait it. We're going to try to catch a weasel and uh, show if, you have, <laughs> if we have any success here. So if that's something that interests you, well, then uh, definitely follow along here. We're going to go check this cage out a little closer here. All right, so we have our little live trap here from Amazon. Just under first visual inspection, everything's made out of metal, so it doesn't look like something's going to be able to break through this really easily or chew through it. Uh, so I did kind of play around with it already, testing it out just to make sure that it might work. And it does seem like it functions pretty good. So uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested in something like this. Uh, but uh, first of all, we'll just take a couple looks at the little functions here and then we'll get it set up and then hopefully we'll catch a weasel. <laughs> all right, so uh, first things first, uh, you're going to get it. You're going to be like, how do I open this thing? Because this little rod handle here is going to be pushed all the way in. Uh, so, you know, you're going to be like, what the hell, right? And then if you, they do give little instructions, but they're not very clear. So, uh, basically you're just going to pull out your little handle here. And then you got this second little rod here on the bottom. You're going to pull that up. And then once you got that pulled up, then you'll be able to lift the flap here and open your trap. So, uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get our trap baited and then we'll show you how to set the catcher. Fine. All right, so I don't know what the world's best uh, weasel bait is, but uh, I did read online that they do like raw meat. So what I did is I just got a chunk of hamburg here, and then we're going to wrap that around the uh, lever, trigger, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, we'll get her set up and hopefully catch ourselves a weasel. So to bait your trap, basically you're just going to open your door. You can stick your hand in there. You ain't got to worry there. You ain't got a ton of pressure there. It's not going to hurt you or anything. And then we will try to bait this on as good as we can because we don't want it just falling off. And we will try to tug at it a little bit to get at it. There we go. We're baited. Okay, so the next step is very, very simple. It's a very easy trap to set up. So basically, like I said, you're going to make sure that you have your handle out here all, all the way, and then you're going to bring your little bar up. You're going to lift your top up. And then uh, just make sure there's, this is like the little, uh, not the trigger, but whatever you want to do, call it the, the locking mechanism. So you want to make sure that slides over top of your handle. And then your little trigger here has a little wobbly point here. So you're just going to sit that right on top. And very finely, 
set it just like that. Easy as pie. Really not hard to set up whatsoever. And we'll uh, just give her a little test here to make sure that it works. And they do seem to have to move it quite a little bit, so I'm gonna be a little bit skeptical on this one. I ain't gonna say it's gonna be the easiest way to catch him, but if he moves that little lever enough, it surely will lock him in. So let's just hope that uh, he's not too smart and he moves that lever just enough. And he goes for the bait. <laughs> All right. So this is the area where I think the weasel might be getting into my garage. Uh, there's a couple of potential places. But anyways, uh, he's been getting into here for a little while. Uh, the dog was in here earlier and he was sniffing out all the corners pretty heavily. So I know that weasel's been in here for quite a little while now. Uh, but this area here is where I've been seeing him the most uh, out of the couple times I've seen him. So this is where I'm going to set the trap, cross my fingers, hold for the breast, and uh, catch ourselves a weasel. We'll go relocate him. So uh, let's get our trap set up and then... Cross your fingers, bite your tongue, see what happens. So, remember what I was saying about location being the key? Well, I guess in my garage was not the key location because I spotted the weasel underneath this brush here a couple hours ago. So I decided to move my trap over. And uh, if you see here, he's actually hanging out really close to my chickens. So let's go see because I think I got a weasel in my trap. Will we get him? I bet you got him, eh? Look at that. You got him. Awesome. So just like I said, location is key. Um, I didn't see the weasel in the garage for a couple of days. So I, and then today, uh, earlier, I spotted him out here in the brush pile. So I went and moved my trap and a couple hours, bam, we got ourselves a weasel. So yeah, we're just gonna grab this guy and then uh, we're gonna load him up in the car. We're gonna take him for a ride out into the uh, woods very far away from here and uh, relocate this little weasel. I've, I think I'm just going to grab the box that originally came in and I'll just set the cage in there just to kind of keep it enclosed for it a little bit so it's not all too freaked out, I guess. Not stress it out too much. Hey, puppy, look at that. We caught a weasel. Yeah. Yep, caught our first big predator, hey, puppy? Yeah. It's pretty fucking cute, though. I must say. Stinks. Really stinks. He'd, he'd be cute to keep as a pet, but this one here is just a small one now. They do get a bit bigger than this, and, and they, they can become a, a problem for the uh, for the chickens, right? So, best to just relocate this guy right out of town. Be done with all of that. See? That. Oh, see, he would have bit you. See, look at that. <laughs> hey, you stick your nose too close, and he would have bit. That's what would have happened out there in that wood pile. You got your nose bit off. Mean little buggers. That's another reason why we can't keep this guy around. Because if the dog does get a hold of that in the wood pile and gets bit, you never know, rabies or something, right? Let's go get rid of this guy. All right, so here we are. I drove, uh, I don't know, about five or six miles away from home, uh, up at an old dirt road. Uh, we're going to release this guy back out into the great wide wilderness and maybe he'll eventually become somebody else's problem or maybe a snack for something else, but hopefully not my problem anymore. <laughs> nah, I'll mention too, these guys stink. Like they really, like they got a, they got a smell to them. No wonder the dog kind of knew where he was all the time and was always digging in that wood pile. Probably been living in there for a little while. So basically to release this guy, what we're going to be doing is uh, basically just lifting the little lock rod up and then lifting the latch and pull the door open and let him run off into the wild. There you go. Perfect. Smell you later, Wally the Weasel. You're not my problem no more. 
All right, there we go. Done deal, locked up, throw away the key. Let's get back home, get some supper. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. The average Joe one, weasel nothing. Nice. <laughs> so I'd like to thank Wally the Weasel for making a special guest appearance on today's episode of The Average Joe's One Acre Homestead. But unfortunately, Wally couldn't hang around because he had other people's lives to go terrorize. <laughs> so if you ever wondered if one of these little live traps here off Amazon would do the trick for you, 100%. Uh, you know, made really well work perfectly. Uh, really didn't take long at all to catch this weasel. The only thing that I could add that they could have maybe did better would be probably just to add a rod from here to here and maybe leave like an inch or so on the edge so the trigger would still function properly and it would give you a handle. But besides that, uh, you know, they do have the handle here that sticks out the front. So that was just fine. $25 delivered to my door. Really can't complain. Uh, you guys seen I used Hamburg for the bait. Uh, you know, it did take a few days to catch the weasel because originally I did think that he was hanging around in my garage a lot more. So that's where I set the trap up thinking it would be a good spot to catch him. And then a few days later after no activity, I kind of was starting to think maybe, you know, hey, he's not hanging around no more. And then all of a sudden I spotted him out in the brush pile. So I knew that was probably his main hangout. Uh, so pretty much within two hours after moving the trap over to the brush pile, I had the weasel caught. Uh, we went and we relocated him, problem solved. Uh, like I said, uh, weasel, you know, kind of good, kind of bad. You know, if I didn't have chicken stuff like that around, I'd probably let them hang around because they do get rid of a lot of rodents and stuff like that from your property. But with the chickens, they will kill your chickens. Um, so definitely not something I want around my yard hanging around. And that's why Wally had to go. But, uh, you know, hey, if you guys are interested in a trap like this, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. You know, uh, I've tried it, tested it. You guys seen it here. It does work, so I don't mind recommending it. Uh, you know, if you enjoy this content, go ahead, smash those subscribe and notification buttons. It's going to go a really long way towards helping me build my channel here. And uh, we're going to have a lot more content like this coming up as we're trying new things and uh, learning as we go here on the Average Joe's One Acre Homestead. But for now, y'all ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here because I got me some work to do. So we'll catch you on the flip side.